Hello, this is Lego Sword 5 doing a, my first ever review, really, of Evo, or as his full name is, Nathan Evo 2.0. And, you know, I just don't like this guy that much. He just didn't really work, work for me. And it's not because of his build, although I do have a few things to say about the new building type. And it's not because of the weapon, it's because of the color scheme, because really, look, if I really don't like this color scheme, because they took one color on one side of the color wheel, yellow, and then on the opposite side of the color wheel, they have purple, and they put them together, and I just don't think that works. If they had something like black and yellow, that could work. Or even green and yellow, that could work. But I just don't really think that purple and yellow really does it. But other than that, I think this guy is pretty cool, you know? He has some sweet head gear, and his blaster is pretty cool. And you know, I don't really like the new design. But I've seen the 3.0 sets for, just so I won't be a spoiler, I won't tell you what they are like, but it's clear from them that the that this build is here to stay. It's pretty hard to actually mock with this build. And so, anyways, um, because all of the pieces are basically the same. You know, it's Bionicle. You can get some pe through just so many different options for arm and leg pieces, but for this, there are only a few options for arm and leg pieces. But other than that, they're an improvement from the old Hugo's. So, other than the color scheme, I'd say this guy's pretty cool. You know, nice weapon, bad, not very good design, but pretty good design. So, this is Leo Sword 5 signing off. Hello, this is Lego Sword 5, here doing a review of Julius Evo, I mean Julius Nax, or just Nax as he's called, 2.0. And, you know, I have to say I like this guy better than Evo, because of his color scheme, if nothing else. And, so, anyways, if you've seen my Evo review, you'll see that I don't really like Evo's color scheme of yellow and purple, like, look at that. And so, anyways, I think that this guy is pretty cool. You know, it's kind of hard to review him differently than I reviewed this guy, because they're both the same basic guy, with only a few differences. So I've already covered the color scheme of yell of I mean white, green, and orange, which I don't which I don't like a whole lot, but I think that it's better than Evo's. And also, I do the weapon this way, not as it shows on the box, like this, because I think that this looks kinda like the Jaws of Life. Which is kind of uh, an odd thing for a Hero Factory guy to have. Another thing that I think that I would like to show about this guy is I wish that they had made his weapon like this. So it's coming out of his wrist. Instead of it being his hand. I would fix it like that, and keep it like that, if it won't fool the fact that he only has one hand. And so, ooh, I'm going to fix it back up like this again. And, as for the weapon, I think that it's, you know, pretty cool. With this and all. I actually use it in one... In one of my mocks, which I'll be reviewing later. So, anyways, with the four-fingered, I mean the five-fingered hand, 
I really like the four-fingered hand battle. I didn't mean four-fingered counting this thumb. And it's because, you know, they're starting to look a lot like humans. And I don't think the bionicles are really meant to look like humans. I mean, of course, humans don't have green hands, heads and they're not made out of metal. But still, don't you think it's just kind of real good? I wish... I kind of prefer it to be kind of cartoony with the three fingers and one thumb. But anyways, other than that, and with the helmet design, I think the helmet is pretty good. Not as good as Evo's, but, you know, pretty good. So this is Lewis Old 5, signing off.